Factor 1. In our last video, we provided an introduction to the fair use checklist. In this video, we're going to discuss Factor 1, which is the purpose and character of the use. Questions to ask yourself in evaluating this factor include, are you using the work for nonprofit educational purposes? Or is the purpose of your use for commercial or financial gain? Also, are you using the work to entertain others? Or is it for teaching? Using a work for educational or nonprofit purposes provides a stronger argument for fair use than commercial, entertainment, or marketing purposes. Just because you're at a nonprofit educational institution, however, does not mean that any use of an item is for education. Sometimes we're promoting a product or simply want to entertain others. Another element in the purpose and character of use factor is whether the work used is transformed. For instance, a professor teaching a course on Alfred Hitchcock may want to show clips of Hitchcock films for his course. If he adds commentary or captions that describe the techniques the director uses in each scene, the work is transformed from an entertainment piece to an educational work. Here's an example. Notice that the captions appear at the bottom of the screen identifying the director's techniques. While this is entertaining to watch, we're learning about the tricks of the film industry. Thus, the original work has been transformed from entertainment to educational. To learn more about the remaining three factors, please see our other videos.